Hi, welcome back to Freedio Hub. Today, we'll try to understand how can we set up Internet Information Services, which is a web server on Windows 11. Now, just make sure that if you want to set up IAS, which is the Internet Information Services server, which is a web server on Windows platform, you'll have to have the professional version of Windows. So if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Windows 8 Professional or 7 Ultimate or Premium versions, then you'll be able to set up a web server on your computer. In addition to that, I'll be talking about Microsoft Expressions Web, which is a free application. It's discontinued by Microsoft, but you can still get a trial version of it from the internet you can install it and download it we can easily understand how can we design basic pages and you'll be able to see the html code as well as the uh, basic graphical user interface of it so uh, in order to install an ias which is a web server on your windows 11 professional you'll go to the control panel then you'll have to go to programs and features after that, you'll have to click on turn on Windows features on and off. And here you'll find an option called Internet Microsoft Internet Inter Information Services. As you can see, it's listed over here, Internet Information Services. You can click on that one. And then if you want to go and set up other features like FTP and other things, you can choose it. But since we are going with the default installation, I'm not going to make any changes. I'll keep it as simple as possible. So we'll just click this one and then we'll press OK. So it would start the installation of IAS on your Windows 11. Now, as you can see, it has successfully installed it. You'll press close and close this one. Now it is installed on your computer. Now the next step is how to find that it is installed on your computer. Now in order to locate it, you'll go to the control panel and you'll click on Windows Tools and you'll find it over here called Internet Information Services. Now in order to have it on the desktop, you'll right click on it and create a shortcut. So it would place a shortcut on the desktop so that you don't need to go over there. Second thing is if you'll go to this PC and you'll click on your C drive, you'll find a folder called INET pub. So if you'll go in INET pub in www root, that's the default page, which is there for your website. So since we, if we are uploading or if we are designing any pages and we want to upload it on this web server, we'll put it in this www root folder. So let's create a shortcut of this one as well. So let's try it click and click copy over here and we can close this one and we can paste a shortcut over here so if we'll click on it we'll go directly to the page now um, if you'll open this one you'll be able to configure your web server so since it is a very basic installation i'm just telling you that how can we uh, check that if uh, services are running on your computer as a web server so in order to check that you'll open the browser and you'll type http or localhost and press enter you'll be able to see this page which means that ias is installed on your computer and it is working and the page that you can see over here is actually coming from this this is the start page of it which is actually loaded up here in the browser and that's how you can check that ias is installed on your computer now the next step is how to design a page so i told you about microsoft expressions web i have already installed it on my computer so you'll just start it. It's a very basic interface of it where you can, uh, you have a toolbox on the right hand side, some snippets over here. And uh, if you have certain tags and CSS files, you can work on it from here. Now you can see that there are a couple of things over here called design split and code. So if you're designing something, you'll just be in the design phase and you'll design the page. You have the same banner on top where you can select the font size, um, uh, the selection of font, if you want to keep it bold, center aligned and all those things, just like Microsoft Word. 
But if you want to see that what's going on in the background, so you'll be able to click on the split button and you'll see the HTML coding which is behind it. If you want to just code it directly, you'll click on code and you'll be able to see code only. Now I'll split it and I'll show you that what's the difference over here. So if I'll delete all this default code which was appearing on this page, now it's blank. Now if I'll type it over here, welcome to my first website and uh, I'll just select everything and I'll have it center aligned so you can see the changes uh, which are happening in the background so it is writing the HTML code for yourself now uh, same thing if we'll select it and if we'll try to change the font type up here for example Arial and if we'll increase the size of the text and uh, we'll make it bold and if we'll change the color of the text um, you can see that the information is constantly changing over here so once that's done um, you'll click file and you'll save as the file as a default page on your desktop so it would be saved as a default.html and just click save so once we'll close it you can see that we have a page called default.html and if we'll open it it would open it in the browser but you can see the destiny the the actual location of it is on the desktop but we want to run it on a web server and see that if it is actually working or not so we'll copy this file from here and then we'll go to c drive and then we'll click on inet pub and www root and we'll paste the file here now once the file is posted now it's there in the same directory and if you would like to see that if the page is loading or not we'll go to localhost and press enter now this is the default page which is over there so we'll uh, put a slash and we'll type default.html and it would load your page which is your default page which you have defined or which you have designed on your microsoft expressions web now how can you check it that if it is actually working and people can access it from the network so in order to do that we'll fire up another virtual machine which would be for example kali linux and then we'll be able to access the same page from there now as you can see I have two operating systems running one is Windows 11 and the other one is uh, our Kali Linux so we would like to check if people on the network are able to access my website or not so for example if you have designed a page and you have uh, posted it on your web server on a computer and you want the people on your network to access your website so in order to check that first of all you'll have to find the IP address of your host machine where actually you are hosting the website so I'll type in IP config and it would show me the IP address of your machine which is this one now I'll have to check it on my uh, Kali box if I'm able to reach that machine or not so in order to check that I'll type in 192.168.176.131 and press enter now if you press enter and if you can see these response it means that there is a connectivity between these two computers so we will be able to access the website which is hosted on our web server which is windows 11 so i'll type in the same um, ip address over here um, that is 192.168.176.131 and press enter so that's the default page which was there and if I'll type in in front of it slash default.html so you can see the same website it means that people on our network will be able to see the website that I have posted on my web server so that's how you set up a web server on Windows 11 professional I hope you understood it that's it for today thank you very much